Ear, ear, ear. Ear. It sounds like a dying dog. Ear. <laughs> Five seven, you've owed me money for like three years, dude. Nah, that's not for live right now. <laughs> <laughs> what up? What up? What up? Let me go to the stream. Make sure everything's all scrizzy, my nizzy. It's the big, big dizzle. Oh, I'm, I just went on YouTube, bro. It's so natural to me. I watch too much YouTube now. I swear. <laughs> I never used to watch YouTube this much. Yeah, I go through my phases. Yeah, it looks like it's running good. What up, y'all? Who's watching? Let's see. I'll shout you out real quick. Yeah, bro. Did you ever check out that guy that I sent you? My boy showed me I'm Royce White. No, I don't think so. I don't remember. He's fire, bro. He's trying to Sounds become a familiar. mayor of uh, Minnesota. And he's an ex-basketball oh, player for the Rockets. Bro, he's dope. He's a, he's a Republican. Yeah, fire. there's a... um. I was just watching... Uh, She's a woman too, and she's black, and she's a Republican. She's going up against Doctor Oz. Doctor Oz. Cause you know, I'm talking about the guy that was on. Yeah, what you remember? call it? Year. What up, Coakley? What up, LJ? He got a TV Jeeves? show and all that. Double. No, you don't remember Doctor Oz? He had that that TV show. Yeah, he, didn't he come off of Oprah? Uh, probably oh, all those little here, side. Here, hold on one second, bro. Let me make an intro real quick. What up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Five Seven Zero. Live episode 14. No, my bad. 15. That's that. Who's 15? Who was 15? Carmelo Anthony episode. Year. <laughs> but yeah, you were saying that uh the the doctor. What up, Melissa? What up, Coke? Yeah, Dr. LJ. Dr. Oz. I swear he was on Oprah. Wasn't he? He probably was. That's probably he where like he the young white doctor that's like smooth as shit. Nah, he's an old head. Oh, maybe not. I don't know who Dr. Oz is. Y'all probably know better than me. I, I, nah, you, you you would know him if you've seen all him. All right, he's known like that. He, he, like, he, he was all over TV, but Trump endorsed him. Smoking this. Which is weird because he's like, he's pro-choice and he's like very liberal on a lot yeah, of his views. Yeah, but people gotta realize that a lot of us are like in the middle. Oh. The crazy part is, is that, yeah, technically we would be considered liberal but yeah, the liberal thing they they've gone so far left that technically now we'd be considered conservatives which is i mean who even really knows I, because I, I, who that's what i'm the saying they blurred who the calls lines. who what it is, you know what i'm saying how how could they yeah. tell us what we are we consider ourselves i don't know yeah they, they blurred the lines yeah exactly blurred lines. i know you want it <laughs> i know you want it crazy it, what, what's what's even more radical about the whole thing is, bro, and like, radical, look, man, I, I, I'm I'm 32. Yeah. When I was 18 and I was like talking about politics and boring the crap out of everybody, nobody gave a damn. Yeah. And now everybody has something to talk about with politics, but yeah, everybody's so brainwashed. They're like em they're emotionally controlled. Yeah, unfortunately, and desensitized to all the BS that goes on. You know what I mean? Unfortunately. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, bro, I haven't talked to you since, uh, the Steelers draft. Yeah, 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 it's been a while, bro. I think the last episode you were on was, like, episode eight. Yeah. It's been almost as yeah, much episodes as it's then you were on, and you were on two before then. So, it's been <laughs> a minute. Yo, drop some likes and share it, y'all. I have to get back in the Definitely. YouTube algorithm or YouTube Facebook algorithm. I think I pissed some people off saying some things, man. Motherfuckers just think, yeah, bro, for real. People call us conspiracy theorists because we're dumb, because we're not dumb, because we're not sheep, because you we're not, we're not gonna be talked down on. Like we're we're dumb for for noticing something very obvious. And the worst part is most of it came true. Facts. They call this crazy. I, I, I don't. I could go on about that forever. Yeah, for real. But everything that's going on with politics right now is su such a touchy subject. I probably wouldn't even. Yeah, I don't know if people want to hear us talk about so politics all yeah. day, but they definitely like hearing us talk about other things. But uh, yeah, what's up with you though, bro? I know uh, we were talking about the draft the other day with uh, Kenny Pickett, bro. I'm so happy we got Kenny Pickett. But I don't know, he wasn't the first guy I wanted, but. 
still. But uh, it's funny though; he's number eight. Yeah. It's almost like he's next in line. Yeah, for real. That's what happened. I actually, but I um, I got him on Madden because like I was obsessed with him when I first found out. I was like Pittsburgh. That's perfect for him to come over from the the Panthers. They literally share a facility. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know Definitely. that. Did you know that they share a facility? The, the Pittsburgh Panthers, the college team, they literally share the same facility as the Steelers. The same oh, yeah. field, all that. Heinz Field. Yeah, don't the, That's um... how the field be fudged up all the time, bro. Yeah, mad, mad teams share a field and courts and baseball fields. And I didn't know that, honestly, yeah, for the I mean, most the Jets, part. The Giants share a field. Um, the Steelers, the Panthers, um, the Rams, and the Chargers. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Yo, bro. I have, like, mad crazy. Yo, do you still have that money I gave you? That uh, Iranian money? Yeah. I have that. I have... um. Afghan money. Oh, no, I that's what I gave you, Afghan money. and China. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Bro, I got money from so many some, places. It's not even we funny. We got to get some energy. It's been a long day for me. I ain't going to lie, but I'm going to get some energy because I, uh, I try to make it so, you know, people could relax and watch something for, like, grown folk. You know what I mean? That that ain't drama or whatever. I mean, sometimes it could have a little bit of infinite, but I got a lot of good interviews coming up. First off, let me actually talk about KP not being here. He actually uh, was supposed to be on today. You know Pun. We've known Pun. Pun's like our family, really, to be honest. We know that. I love Pun's mom. That's my... She's so cool, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Lori, Lori, she's awesome. I just remembered it. It popped right on him. You know, fun fact of the day. I just realized that it says Anthony, the KP how you say his last name but I, this whole time I Look thought it here. was like some weird middle name I just realized I've been this man's <laughs> friend on Facebook for like ever and I didn't know that it said the KP I thought it was like the and I just found out <laughs> year what up calf shout out to calf actually I'm gonna get him up here soon you know what I mean I've been watching a lot of his music I've actually been catching up on a lot of the music in the area and yeah. Uh, I guess I don't even know what really to talk about it, but I guess I don't know if I was telling you earlier, but I guess the person that was doing all their videos got canceled. Yeah, yeah, I heard you talking about it. I don't I even know who he was. I guess he's not from this area, but he did some good videos. Lux. I don't. I don't want to like start a beef. I'm just saying. I heard he got canceled. I wanted to interview the guy because I was like, oh, he sounds official. Like he got all these videos with all these new people. Yeah, where are you in the stew now? About to lay down that fire. That hot fire. Spit that hot fire, my nigga. But yeah, uh, I guess that I guy. Yeah, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, facts. He got canceled. You're the one who told me. Yeah. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. You're good. Colo TV, the wave of the seven. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna. What is that? Calf Colo TV. Here, what up, Rob? What up, Mike? Matter of fact, shout out to Mike. He actually has a um, benefit coming up. I think it's the twentieth of this. I want to say this month, but he has a benefit at that place that I was promoting on the last show, the Moon Tavern with the Moon Ballroom up on um, Scranton Carbondale Highway, um, in between the. Bowling alley in the days in. Um, I guess he has a benefit for somebody that has cancer coming up soon. So shout out to that. I think it's June twentieth. Well, if you want to comment the date, I'll, I'll shout it out. June fifth, right? Hit Luke Abbott. I remember. I remember seven. somebody saying something about the fifth. I think. Word seven. What? That's what the hat's gonna say, bro. Colo TV, or is it gonna say uh, seven shit? I like that that nickname, but I say five seven. No. Not much different. We're talking about the same thing. Only reason why I got to stay on the five seven zero is just to promote the the channel. You know what I'm saying? But I shot, I, I fudged with the uh the seven shit. Definitely, bro. 
That's what I'm um happy that we were just talking about it. I'm happy that mother people have finally started claiming Scranton. Like it's taken so back. long for people to actually be like, Yeah, I'm from Scranton. It's like everyone was ashamed to be from Scranton before. And now people are finally like, Yeah, I'm actually from here. Even if they weren't born here, bro, you've been here for twenty Thank years. You. Thank you, bro. I've been screaming I mean, it I, bro, I've been screaming it for years. Like, you know so what? Scared, bro. Stop. I, I gotta it's, it's, it's not even that, but it's like after a certain point, like I get it. We all go through our phases and it's cool to know you're from a bigger city or, you know what I mean? But after a while, it's like, you know what, bro? It's not where you're from. It's who you Facts. are. It's not, bro. I met mad you're, you're people real, from the hood real. that are bitch ass niggas. <laughs> Corny. And mad and mad cats from out here that are some of the Facts. realest cats I've ever met in some my life. Some people that so. I'd be like, yo, this... <laughs> Some people that went other places and and became bosses there. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. Yeah, hey sis, facts, what up, sis? Facts. Don said, "What up, hey brothers?" Up, <laughs> mm. But word, I've been screaming that forever. I've been telling people, like, bro, scream, scream the county, because like I either Kawana. save the seven, right? I either save the seven or the county. I've been saying that for so long, like, bro. I don't want to shout out the county. Right. With their shitty food. Right. It's (laughs) it's funny, though, because I came up with that because it's like, bro, Lackawanna County is like a mafia. Like, the way they run. Bro, this this was ran by the mafia for a long time. That's what I'm saying. I mean, and like, bro, if you ever ever get caught up in the system here, you ain't beating the county. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lackawanna County is the county. Right, so when I say the county, people know I'm talking about Lackawanna, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you either say the seven or the county. Yeah. Like, that's scream that. Just because you were born in New York and you moved out here when you were two. Yeah, bro. Not, you're bro. Scr- you, ain't from, I'm sorry. you ain't from New York. Yeah, you're scr- <laughs> you ain't from New York. I know a lot of people You like were that. born there. But I'm just really happy that eat. they really are starting to shout it out and we're starting to get, like, a little rep Definitely. for ourselves. I mean, everyone in the area, it's like, I've met people from Wilkes-Barre, like, oh, y'all go hard over there, bro. Y'all go hard on the screen. Ah, ah. You know, some people, it's like, maybe some don't like us. I don't know. But I know all the other areas, like Archibald, Pittston, Old Ford, they're like, you guys are gangsters. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't even that serious. That's how the police are outside of Scranton, right, too. Up, they Cap? pull you over like, oh, you live in Scranton. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, you, you're you a Scranton thug, huh? What gang right? are you Yo, in, you know, sir? <laughs> Yo, you know what oh, else is God. funny, though? The, the out-of-town cops, like, they don't really be favoring Scranton cops. They be like, yeah. oh, oh, no, they I, talk I mad bad. shit about They be like, I feel bad for you. Yeah. Like, we're not even going to give you this ticket because you got to go back home and deal with Scranton yeah, nah. police. <laughs> like, I know a lot bro. of cops that talk shit about Scranton cops, bro. They're like, oh, they're crooked as shit. Like, right. other cops that dead ass be saying it. What up, nephew? Oh, uh, uh, not saying that anybody's doing something that they shouldn't be yes, doing. Crime but is really bad. They just, they, <laughs> bro, not, but, but look, this is what I'm saying, right? They just gave the, uh, the Scranton street unit a $2 million grant. For what? Bro, what? bro, to work to to, to stop crime, oh, you yeah. know what I mean? So that's that is how many more cops that now have the money to work bro, overtime to hire more cops. They about to be out here while in this summer, here. bro. I'm We're telling you, five, my guy. Bro, I seen somebody getting raided three blocks away from my house this morning, bro. Them trucks that they had, bro, they look like the yeah, feds. Bro. I'm like, bro, these are just. But our, but yet while while they got them big old shiny new cars with their our roads woke are still stickers got potholes. Woke, woke, yeah, <laughs> I'm like this driving by them. Facts, yo, facts. I ain't gonna lie. I bought what? cigarettes uh, yesterday, and there was a coupon in uh, Turkey Hill for these, and they're spitless tobacco. And I ain't gonna lie, I have one in right now. That's what I had. Oh, that's what that was. I was wondering what yeah. it was. I thought when you were over the crib, I thought it was like uh, like those um, mint strips oh, or nah, something. I got them. I'm trying to quit smoking like uh, cigarette cigarettes, but stress be having me like, yeah. damn, bro, I need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fact. The stress is real, bro. For real. But yeah, yo, next week, bro, I have like a, I got Tommy coming on. I did. Yo, did you know that he's? Oh, I don't want to speak too much on it. But did you know that he, you probably do know this, but I didn't know this. I just found it out that he doesn't even work at Mental Mayhem no more. Yeah. Hey, yeah, he works at Black yeah, Lion in West Side. Yeah, he's in West Side right now. Whoa. Yeah. What? I never, I didn't know that. He said he just, 
I don't want to talk too much into it because I have him on Wednesday and I'm actually real hyped to have him because he's like, he's like a legend yes. out here. He's the, he. Yeah, bro. He's a, he's one of the most down to earth, like real people that I know. Yeah, he's real you know smart I mean? too. He's, you know what I mean? And he, yeah, I was about to say, bro, he's he crazy I told him that. So, yo, my brother told me that we would talk, like we would get along a lot. You know what I mean? Truck look like Transformers. Yes. Whose truck looks like Tommy's? Is? <laughs> yeah, Don what? said truck look like Transformers. <laughs> oh, oh, I got one of the them for free. With my, yeah, me too. That's the where I got them from Turkey Hill, right, Don? <laughs> what up, Jose? What up, Vato Loco? What up, Bisse? What up, Spider? Oh, Yo, my guy. They're giving them all for free. Yeah, they're free. If you buy a pack of cigarettes, they'll give them to you for free. They're like, here, take oral cancer. Right. Oh, my, but yeah. Oh. That. <laughs> but uh, my guy who I just was talking to, um, Jose Hot Fire Lara. Bro, in school, me and him would just reenact um, Blood In, Blood Out. We'd be like, hey, Spider, what are you doing here, Holmes? <laughs> He's not even Mexican. Me I'm pretty not. sure Jose is Puerto Rican or something. He's like Puerto Rican and something else. Bro, but how many how many inside jokes do we got with so oh many of God, our bro. Everybody I know almost. He's if, all a Mexican. If you're all cool with me. We all, like, I have a nickname usually for most people. Right. I'm not saying you're not cool with me if yeah. you don't have a nickname for me or we don't talk all crazy and goofy to each other. But right. You know if we have a nickname for you, we're Mac. Facts. Cool. Definitely. <laughs> Yo, what up, bro? Definitely. Elle's watching. Don, oh, got, got, got the family watching. Yeah, I was just saying, Don, when she said the truck uh, looked like Transformers, she was talking about the police trucks. Oh. They do, bro. They look like they about to be a Decepticon coming oh, out no, like no, stop no. freeze. I just don't understand. You how have they, broken the law. How do they have money for that. Scranton's in debt, Bro. but y'all somehow have money to get new cars. What? Bro, that's how they get people, bro. Yo, you do know that the majority of their income comes from the prison. Really? Because like I, Bro, you drive through downtown and it's a ghost town. How My many empty like, they is a ghost they town. um <laughs> They're actually, uh, they're tearing. Remember the old Howard Johnson? You remember that? The Howie the, uh, Jake. It's act, it was, it was the Clarion in Southside. Yeah, the big tall. Of course. Hotels. That's not, they're turning that's not that the Howard Johnson. Office building. Wait, what is it? It used to be. Oh. That's what it was at first. That I'm old. Yeah, bro. I don't remember that. I remember <laughs> it being the Clarion. I broke into the pool a lot of times. Right. It was the it was the the Howie J before there. Oh, but um that's something new yeah they're turning they're supposed to be turning that into an office building but honestly if you go downtown scranton it looks like a ghost town bro all these I mean, empty storefronts i drive down they there build, a they lot fix all these places it's, it's starting to open up a little bit more yeah but a few, yeah in the nooks and crannies you, know, you got but not Jeff's on store. like Lock like bro lackawanna avenue should be full yeah it should be you know what i mean but once you get past bawanas all them buildings are empty and they're oh, yeah, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. you're talking about the old gluchis and stuff is that right they're 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 nice buildings bro yeah, those I are know, nice bro. spaces Imagine like having a storefront yeah. there to do the podcast that's oh, what i'm saying God. that's what and i'm saying but it just goes to show you like it I don't know. I, I just think there's there's so much more that could be bro, done with way this place. More. This like, sounds if dying. I was if if I was ever to become a millionaire, I will put so much money into my yeah, community yeah, and my too. city and stuff. See, the only thing is, nah. See, this is very lucrative. Like podcasts are very lucrative. If as long as you dump the time and money into it, somebody's gonna watch them. You know what I mean? That's how I feel, and I have a lot of people that think that you know I I'm gonna succeed. So. I, I think I'm gonna be good. My found you're only as good as your foundation. My foundation is starting off good because I have everybody out here that wants to see me succeed. Where you know some people that might have been hating on me before aren't even aren't are like don't see it that way. They see it like nah, Vic's doing something for the better of all of us. You know what I mean? All so yeah, because of that, my foundation is good, and that means that by the time when I get to, I don't know, fifty episodes in, I'll have like that much more people that much because it's just going to keep going and once i get them stickers i'm putting them stickers up a lot of places i'm gonna get them to some of my people's i'm gonna give one to you to put on the back of your car i'm gonna put one on the back of my car i'm gonna get uh like three other people told me that i could put one on their car and then i'm just gonna put one like at all the turkey hills i'm gonna go to like scranton high put one like somewhere definitely definitely so everybody from the city exactly, knows bro Everybody and they know when they see your face that that's us. Exactly. That's for all exactly. of us. Exactly. But I mean, 
like Eddie sticker. Eddie's garage, you know, I got that orange sticker on the back. Yeah, there, everyone knows you went to Eddie's seal. if you have that orange sticker. Yo, you could you could be driving through Old Forge. They know that that sticker came from Eddie's garage. You talking about the one like, right there in Westside, right? That has like the checkered looking thing yeah. on it by the pool. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They're crazy in there. They're good people, but I'll give you the yeah, owners. Right. Some good deals. Yeah, I know. I, I know Eddie. He, he's a he's one a good day, dude. I thought I was the, the one of the workers. Thought I was like tr- gonna steal the tire. Like he put a new tire on for me, and like I'm waiting to drive off, and he's looking at his boss, and he's like, "Did he pay yet?" And his boss is like, yeah, stupid. <laughs> now take it off. I was <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> what up, Patty? Uh, what was the nickname? Peppermint Where Patty. Are we? Yeah, here we go. But yeah, um let's get so, let's get a little hyper up in here. Yo, I wanted to I wanted to do this one thing that I've been reading that people like. Where you like look up a keyword for memes and like you read them off, like on Twitter or something. So like funny hashtags. I wanted to try this because I ain't gonna be able to do this with certain people. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have to talk about their stuff. So me and your episodes, they could be a little bit more fun. And let's see, funny hashtags. Dank meme. Let's see. You should be able to put like. Uh, uh... Oh, no, I know what you're yeah, trying to say. It's like bad, goofy right? things. Let's see. Hashtag for hashtag funny. No, bro, I don't want to be popular. <laughs> bro, no. Corona? Why would I want to hashtag Corona? They want you to hashtag Corona. What the crap? loving bullshit. Corona or the crane? Corona. My sex life in movie titles? What? And $40 billion while Americans are suffering. But support the crane. Oh, you're saying... Oh, yeah, you remember uh, Stephen... Isn't Stephen, like, kind of like our family? That Yeah, Timmy Buckley's little brother, Stephen. Yeah. He, um... He said... Uh, he commented on my post and said, I'm, I'm trying to get a live interview. I said... He says, Shiesty trying to get a live interview. I'm like, who's, who's Shiesty? You know what I mean? <laughs> I, this is what I said. Who's Shiesty? You? You rap? Let me know. It's Sour City True commented, nah, you got to get cuz on the live. Nigga, pure comedy. I, right, I'm with it. He's, Back. Steven's always Back, been. Bro. We've known him since we were all little kids, bro. He lived across bro. the road. I got him. He's like, hilarious. He is, is he really doing like comedy? Uh, I'm, No, I don't know. I know he's funny, though. Yeah, he really yeah, is. He's, he's always been it. funny, <laughs> even since he was a little kid. <laughs> oh, could you imagine a comedian coming out of this joint, yeah, bro? No, that's oh, what I was just man. thinking about. I wish we had people out here that were trying to become like yeah. comedians. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be a politician. Yeah, I tagged Darwin ironically because of that because I, you know, I'm saying Darwin's, Darwin's good. Doing that. He's good. I support him all the way. Any any anything he does, I support him. You know what I mean? That's my guy. We grew up together. We were in almost every class together. Like that—that that was my guy. He is a, a definitely an influential young brother, bro. Definitely. For real. I watched he him. Really, definitely. He seen cares him about his people, good dude, man. I mean, it wasn't a bad guy before, but I've seen his growth. Definitely, an example. Definitely. He might he might be good to get up here if he would. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I was thinking. That's why I tagged him. I wanted to see him to see yeah. it. See if he would see it and if, you know, he would fudge I with might it. be able to get him up here. Yeah, right. That's my guy. My guy. My guy, he has hair and uh, he's my friend. But bro, I'd make the perfect politician, bro. Because uh, I your could, sister just commented and said, Hey bro. I could um Marissa. What? You know how many people I could bring together, bro? What? All what? of them. All of them. Oh because I could get I could get in tune with a whole like a whole group of people that could care less about politics. Oh I could God. be in tune I could be in tune with them <laughs> and everybody else. Yeah, just, I know, right, bro. I just I I kinda like pol- politics, but then again, like I don't because I feel like you kinda have to be a snake to be a politician. And I mean I'm not saying everyone that is a politician is a snake. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that 
right? Unfortunately, that's that's, part that's of the stereotype. What the job. That's part. Yeah, you gotta you you definitely gotta be somewhat cutthroat in certain aspects. A lot. You don't have to be, but unfortunately, that's one of those things where you have to play their game if you wanna yep. get ahead. Basically, exactly. What and, up with y'all? Y'all enjoying your days? But you can keep going on my bad. On this gloomy old Friday. I know it's a weird ass Friday, man. You know what though? It's better than snow. I guess I would take this over snow. Even yeah, though rain, rain kind of depresses me. I just wish that, like, we had more activities to do in the city. I wish that I could, like, you know, talk about certain things that were going on. If, if there's any events going on, you guys can inform me, you know. I mean, Yo, bro, you on your computer live, too? Yeah. Drop a whole bunch of hearts and likes. It'll bring people in, and then we'll curse them out. <laughs> just playing, not curse them out. But, yeah. It just keeps letting me like it and dislike it. <laughs> yeah, if you drop likes, it throws you in the algorithm. Crazy. I never, like, I just learned that, like, I don't know, five likes ago. Well, I'll, five I'll just ago. drop, like, ten of them. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. <laughs> but, yeah. Janus the bull. Janus. That's my guy, yeah, he bro. He usually commenting all the time. Yo, we got to get up, LJ, bro. I miss you, bro. We used to mob every oh, day. Yeah. Matter of fact, about LJ, Um, he's actually dropping our track, um... I think officially on all platforms soon. I actually edited the picture for it. Um, it's called Adi Da Da. Just random. Yes, sir. Hope y'all enjoying your day night. You too, Matt. Damn, I ain't seen you in a minute, bro. Remember Matt from um Weston Field that we always play basketball with? Yeah, cool Matt. Oh, he's cool. Yeah, he's, I think he lives in Townhouse, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, he's cool with Jeremy. Yo, where's Jeremy? I ain't seen Jeremy in a minute. I hope he's doing good, man. I mean, uh, Jeremy Brown, bro, Matt, Matt, Matt Pavlovich, bro. Yeah. Yo, that's my guy, Matt bro. Pavlovich. That's our yeah. guy. That's what I said. That's yeah. my guy. I ain't seen you in Matt long. He just commented, said, "Yes, sir." Hope y'all enjoying whole... your day and night. That's the Western crew right there. I know, man, bro. We had so much fun playing basketball back in the day at Western Field. Definitely. Man. Shout out to Weston. Shout out to Miss Sandy sitting in the front with her eye wandering, telling you, "You can't do that." <laughs> LJ said we oh you you can read right LJ just uh, commented so it's up to you yeah facts definitely got to link up for real for real but I don't even smoke no more bro you found a kitten so, in your backyard I, so facts though rain. um Janus he definitely knows he know very personal you know what I mean like that was my guy like Scorpios all day let me throw that out there Scorpio and um. You know, he 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 kind of watched me decline into a, a a dark place, but I'm, bro. Now, it's that, it's that glow time, mother. Facts, bro. Facts. But yeah, I someone don't said smoke, uh, I don't drink. I don't. What up, Joe? Healthy. So uh, someone said they found a cat. Patty said she found a cat in her backyard. It was soaked from the rain, and here Aww. she is on her lap. Oh, poor little kitty. Right. Yo, you know what's crazy? What? You know how um my cat's crazy. Your your sister and them used to live down the street. You just froze. And um yeah, it did. Oh, Can yeah, you hear me? Good. Yeah, you're good now. You're good. Um your sister and them used to live down the street and uh the noon stuff. I'm I'm pretty sure Jason Taylor. It's there it's one an, an old cat from down there. Oh, Yo, yeah. she comes, she comes to my house. Like every day, bro, and I be leaving cans of tuna and sauces bro. and milk out there for Can her all the just, time. Can we just like acknowledge the fact that like Scranton has its own breed of outside cat now, bro? It's they crazy. be whole, they what be whole mobs, bro. They, they can live outside during the winter. I said that mad proper. They can live outside during the winter, but yeah, um, <laughs> there's like a whole like in my backyard over here. There's a mob like. 15 outside cats Going to Valley View There's like bro. 40 Oh my it's god crazy They be oh killing each other Like over Food bro, in the garbage can There was a chicken In my alleyway Wait, you're telling I'm me. not even kidding It was like the chicken Was the leader Of the, 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 the cats, right? Alley cat gang I'm not That's even kidding Disney bro That's a Disney channel movie dog <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Like, like cat, I'm a cat the chicken, Meow the, the, the chicken would just Come out bro And just 
just be walking with his chest all high and all the cats would just fall back and just sit down and be mad quiet. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> the chicken running the alley we had out a cat, here, bro. Or we had Only a, in Scranton, bro. We had a, yeah, for real. We had a chicken in our house and what when we lived down uh, Bartel for that in little West. bit. I thought in West Side, right? Yeah. In the every morning you hear... Or, or, what the hell am I yeah. doing? You know what I'm talking about. The, the wake yeah. up. No, it was a rooster. My bad. Yeah. Those chickens don't do that. Only roosters do. A male. Well, he was a male. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that, yeah, bro. Yeah, they had a coop. Not too far from the crib. They had a coop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right. You could see it. If you looked over the thing. That weird, real freaking steep hill. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I remember yeah, walking that, was... that one time with Corey, like, mad messed up, bro. I think... That was back when Spice was like big, and uh, we smoked Spizzle. Oh man! And we tried to walk up that hill, and it was ice. But our shoes were so good that the grip stayed gripping. But we just kept sliding, trying to walk up that hill. And like I'm so high, I'm like, oh my god, bro, are we ever gonna get there? Like we yeah, were like air walking. Corey. I could never with that stuff. Every every time, bro, I felt like I was gonna die. Yeah. Like- yeah. Cause oh, Amy, our cousin Amy just said uh, someone. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, it's like a block from where you guys live too, like where we lived on Bartel. I think that was the street, right? Nah, division. Division. Yeah, Bartel was where we lived over by Jesse's place. Shout out yeah. to Jesse's place, yo! I'd love to have them as a sponsor one day because I was just I really um, like them. talking happy about them. Yeah, I was just talking about Jeffrey. <laughs> Shep, shout out to Shep Nine. <laughs> Shep Nine. Shep Nine. What's today? Friday. He's on his way to Florida right now. For why? Just they I, they're going on vacation. Oh, that's what's up. Down there for like a week cousin, or something. Man. I was just talking to him. Where we just got off the phone before. He's probably stopped calling me because I don't be picking up sometimes. Well, half the time because <laughs> he'd be calling me randomly. I'm like, ah. if at I the most, at the I, worst time. Yeah, right? and if I Yo, pick up, I have to give that. him my devoted attention, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when Corey calls, he's like he calls me two that. other times and I missed a call, and like he's in. He's in jail, and I'm like, bro, like, I don't want to pick up the phone and be, like, on live. Like, I can't talk to you because I have to entertain the people, if that's what you call it. Are you not entertained? Bro, I can't wait till he comes home, bro. Yeah, he's hype about this, too, because I'm like, yo, bro, I have a sports. you seen that I have a sports one, I was just telling you. And yeah. I'm like, we need a Green Bay Packers fan, bro. And he's, like, mad into sports now. And he was telling me, he was like, yo, bro, like, Vic, I'm like how you are. With sports now, and he's like, honestly, yeah, like, he's got all that time. Yeah, he's like, it's because of you, because I don't know, like I, I understand why you like it now, because it's all about numbers and ah ah ah, and I'm like, yeah, bro, it's like statistics, it's addicting. I don't know, right. it's like the statistics is like cool, like I don't know, it relieves your, I don't know how to explain it. I really, I used to be into it like that, but I don't know. Everything bores me now. Like everything, I, I like I learned something. <laughs> Amy said, "I learned it fast." When he's on the sh- when you're on the shitter. <laughs> yeah, facts, bro. I could tell just by his ceiling. Feel like shit. What? Oh, are he you be doing, taking a bro? dump, calling you. Yeah, that's my guy, yo. And he be he do he do call you at the worst times. Really like does. you you be you be you be in the middle of doing something. You got a kid on this leg. You got something in this bro. hand, and this hand is wet from doing the dishes and like. Your phone's be like, oh, bro. He call it the worst times every time. For real, yeah. And I want to get some more. Uh, my I want to get some more female interviews. I just had my first one, Amanda. I know Christina. You do said that you have like. I know you have the page. I follow it and all. But um, if there's something like real specific that you want to promote on it, like that, you really want me to get out and like, whatnot, you can always come on. I got you. I definitely want to start getting more females on here because, you know, I, I don't want to seem like I'm sexist or something. I just mostly talk to dudes, bro. <laughs> I mean, I mean I've been, been in a relationship for like four years, you know what I mean, or whatnot. So, like, I don't, I'm not trying to, like, intentionally not, but. Yeah, facts. You know how it is, y'all. Well. You know how it is. <laughs> now a lot of them are, are, I mean, some of them are doing some, but. More dudes are out here making moves and all that, so it would only make sense. Uh, I think that this whole town's freaking caught in a damn loop. I'm saying some people are breaking the matrix, yeah, but it's like only so long sometimes because you can only focus so long before like something goes wrong, and then you gotta re, you gotta pivot, rebuttal, and re like go at it a different way. 
Yeah, it is. It's like it is like a loop, pretty much. It's like Amy says she should do a Mother's Day interview. I don't know. It's my day off and it's Mother's Day, and you know, I I wanna be. I wanna do most of the stuff for her because it's Mother's Day. Yeah, I wanted facts. to give her money to go get her hair did, get a pedicure, get your hair did. Yeah. So uh, I wanted yeah, to do I get, that. I get, my bad. I get I get two days. I get Mother's Day and Father's Day. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah. I, that's nah. funny because I, uh, I said to her, she's like, it's Mother's Day. I said, what are you getting me? <laughs> <laughs> right. Dads deserve a, a gift on every day. For real. But uh, let me look up something. I want to talk about some some a topic that we're both uh, inspired. I wish uh, I wish uh, people in uh, the comment section would um, talk. Our cousin, not talk. Like, throw throw a subject out. Something they want to hear. Something they like. Yo, I want to hear. Yeah, what do y'all want to hear us talk about? There's not many. People. You got two got smart people. people. Like share. Like we had like share. we had like ten people at a time, but. I think maybe we got oh, boring or something. Like, My energy a lot of is people, tiring today because, you know. Yeah, a day, lot of people but, don't like me either, bro. A lot of people don't like you, said? Yeah. Because oh. I'd be talking reckless, bro. I don't know. Everyone I'd be like, talking about things. Bro, the most... I say the things that people really think and, and, and believe, but, you know, they have to act appalled and offended at it because that's just how they're nah, they but, like nah, act, I think know? people like you on here at least at least my people do because yeah. we had 22 people viewing us live that's still a record Dad, for me right Dad. now Dad. okay baby give me two seconds okay oh yeah Hold we on. missed Star Wars Daddy. day Daddy duty oh. so oh <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I've been really tired today. I've had a really off day and kind of sucks. It's kind of been stressful. But I'm here. I almost didn't come live today because of it. But if I don't go live, then I let the stress and everything else win. And I'm not a quitter. Y'all are going to get 100% of me every time I come on here. Even if I'm a little tired, I'm still going to give it my all my effort and everything. But I'm looking up some topics here. Start a guessing show. What the hell does that even mean? Janute said Celtics busting that ass. Bro, I don't even be watching basketball. It's crazy. I don't even. Uh, I haven't it's been watching lately. Lead. But shout out to um Doe. Shout out to um Dorian, Dor Dorian Finney-Smith. He went to school where our dad went to school. He went to Norcom in uh, Portsmouth. And now he plays for the... Uh, Dallas Mavericks. He just got a bag too. He just got re-signed for good money. Thanks. So shout out to Portsmouth, cause we have a lot of people from like that area that got famous: Plaxico Burris, Allen Iverson. But from like Portsmouth, they... like not a super amount that are like directly from Portsmouth. You know what I mean? Some are from Norfolk. Yeah. Some are from. Newport News, all, yeah. some are from Suffolk, some are from some of them look at it Chesapeake. like it's all Hampton, though. Yeah, it is all the same area. It is all considered Tidewater, 727. But, uh, right, or is this, not Florida 757. I always get them mixed up because I lived in both. Where I lived in Florida was 757. Portsmouth was 727. But, yeah, they call it all the Tidewater area. Uh, you been watching stuff about wrestling lately? Yo, on some real shit, I I haven't stopped. Like Me I've too. been for some I reason I've been show. um documentaries. I just yeah. watched the uh uh Dusty Rose, uh Stone Cold, The Undertaker. No, not The Undertaker. Bro, was, I was it just... King? Oh yeah, yeah. No, the Undertaker has his own show oh. called The Last Ride. It's a whole pod yeah. it's a whole documentary about the end what? of his career about Mark. Uh, I... A new documentary just came out though, like literally just like three days ago. I just watched. Hey, me says, I think so it was Gold Dust. So you getting a uh, your hair did in a pedicure bee? No, I, I'm I'm literally about to uh, re reply to that. Like I I already got the day set. But yeah, um, what was I gonna say? I'm, I'm serious too. I've been watching um 
think Macho Man Randy Savage lately. Because I forgot mm. how much I love Macho Man Randy Savage. He he died on a motorcycle accident. Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I remember I when that happened, bro. I was walking around doing Macho Man all day. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Him and Hulk Hogan's what up, their, their, their imitation really aren't that much different. Hulk Hogan is more like, you got to shake when you do it. Yeah, brother. Yes, my, my like macho man is just, ass, nigga. macho man is like he's just just whole, out of mind. Just, just clenching. He's just clenching everything while he talks. Like yeah, the whole time he's talking, he's just clenching his oh, whole. Yeah. <laughs> he did the Slim Jim commercials. You're right. Yeah. Ooh yeah. Yo, that elbow That's drop. Like the cool I just guy. forgot how I how iconic just he made just the simple elbow drop, bro. Not a lot of people could have did that. You know what I mean? He, he did it in his own, like, spe- hey, like he, just he it, up. it was like Billy Kidman. Billy Kidman had the uh, shooting star splash. And it was crazy to see a frontwards backflip. Yeah. So it was special. No, my, that's my, called the gun. That's a gun. Uh, the shooting star press. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what, what he called, called it. But there's another word for right. it. Uh, a gainer. It. A gainer. Facts. It's yeah. a gainer. But then I used that's to do like them on the diving boards. It's like the, the frog splash. People were saying who uh, had a better frog splash, Eddie Guerrero Ooh, or Rob geez. Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. What up, Jess? Uh, Rob Van Dam used to go all sideways and. Yeah, but Eddie Guerrero is the originator. That's what Eddie Guerrero was saying. He's like, bro, how could you? How could you be better than the bro, original? Yo, think of how simple Rob the Rock's finishing Van move is. Damn. Like the people's elbow. Like how. Oh yeah, it's more simple too. I didn't even think of it, that. It, it, it's the rock even, bottom. And, and then honestly, you're laying on the ground for that long while he does his whole shimmy sham. Not only does he bounce off one row, but he, he does he another one. And he throws and his boxes. elbow pad out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Gonna he lay the whole smack ritual. down on your candy asses. Right? The rock, bro. Yo, his show is awesome. Moves where it's like, damn, bro, that gotta hurt. Like, even though wrestling is fake for the most part. It'd be some moves where you'd be like, damn, bro. Nah, wrestling's fake, but it's hard to do, and it is a sport. Yeah. No, it's fake. Facts. You jabroni fag. Shut your it's like a, What's your name? It doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> God, I love The Rock, man. Bro, so many, so many of them are so funny. Stone Cold used to have me dying, bro. What? Yeah, yeah. He would, t- he would, like, uh, he would, would tell a whole story. He'd be like, I got a story to tell you. It's about a guy who bought a boat. What? He was pitching. He caught a trout. Duh. But that's not the story I'm here to tell you. What? <laughs> like, yo, this yeah, he had a crowd going, man. No one could facts. No one could go like he could never do wrong. They they did him wrong at first, though. He had the worst gimmicks, bro. The ringmaster. Like, bro, it, it was horrible the stuff they had for him. A lot of people had horrible gimmicks at first. Look at Kane. He had the mad scientist. Oh, word. I forgot that he sent me his music. That's I'm sorry, up. yo. Yeah. My yeah, toddler was. being vicious. Who was? My toddler. Oh, Penelope. Penelope. Bro, I, I, I'm honestly considering going and, like, getting her tested for ADHD and, like, all that you think stuff. Not, uh, you, you, you wouldn't think lie. that coming from a my bad. You wouldn't think that coming from a three year old, but no, I think my daughter might be too, bro. She's crazy. She has so Yo, much energy. It's it makes no sense, bro. Like she literally will moves. fall, get back up, fall again, get back up, fall again, and then run. But she's also really big for her age, bro. She's I told you she's in the ninety five percent or ninety three percentile. Yep. So she's tall for her age. Yeah, my girls are too, bro. They're like, they're crazy. The little girls be the ones that be vicious these days. I mean, it's not far off from what's going on in reality. Yeah. But uh, there's. I'm looking at this report. It says Lakers reportedly fired Frank Vogel for inability to make Russell Westbrook work. That's not really his fault. How is that his fault that Russell Westbrook came in with a shitty attitude? Facts. Bro, it was like Facts. something just something just switched off in Russell Westbrook. It nah, was bro. Weird. He's always been very selfish and uh, um Oh yeah, I agree with and, that. But I mean like this ball his hog, game period. And his usage rate was always really high. But uh it says right here, it was a difficult season for the Los Angeles Lakers. 
armed with Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and Russell Westbrook, big things were expected of the team that won the NBA championship two seasons ago. Flash forward to the present. James is tweeting about the postseason games instead of playing in them. Things never came together for the Los Angeles Lakers during the season. Injuries to both Davis and James hurt. But the most frustrating member of the squad was Westbrook, who never seemed to gel well with his teammates on the court. Turns out a major reason why Frank Vogel was fired this season, or that was the major reason why Frank Vogel was fired this season. How was that his fault? I don't know. I he pretty like I heard that uh, they were pretty much like yo. Um, he was saying to them, like, yo, all you guys have, like, are really good passers, no matter the size, even the AD. He's like, so when you get the ball, just throw it up court and just gun it. You know what I mean? We'll get more possessions. We'll catch the defense off of, off, um, not ready. You know what I'm saying? But Russ was like, nah, pass me that shit. I'm the point guard. I need the ball in my hand. Like, bro, do you not realize that LeBron James is a way better passer than you? Bro, if Russ just attacked and rode off of LeBron James, he'd probably average close to 30 with Bron. Like, straight up. He'd probably average a lot of points if they just let LeBron facilitate and let Russ play the two. Yeah, probably. And Russ's jump shot would be better. Yeah, Russ, yeah, but his jump shot was, he he didn't have the confidence this season. That's so crazy because he used to. That's what I'm saying. It was like something just switched off in him all of a sudden. He's getting paid $47 million this year. That's wild. He don't, I hate to say it, but he don't really deserve it. I mean, that's how I feel. He ain't even the best from what I've seen. He he shouldn't be getting paid more than Zach Levine. Zach Levine's way better right now. Uh, DeMar DeRozan is better than him. That's that's always the speculation this season was going to be because we could have got DeMar DeRozan for way cheaper than we got him, which would have opened the door to get other guys. And DeMar DeRozan said he would take a pay cut to come to L.A. He didn't say, like, I'm going to not get paid nothing. Damn yeah, near, word, he said, word. I'll take a ML, like, I'll take a good deal to come. And we we could have traded for him. We probably didn't even have to trade as much as we traded for Russ. They got yeah. us, really. I say Russ wasn't worth it. Nah, but I hate to say it. I hate to say it because he was at one point in time, he he was a, a favorite of mine to watch because he he was spectacular, bro. Like averaging triple doubles in the postseason, like he was beast mode for a minute there. Yeah, and then it was just like all of a sudden. Well, the, when the he OKC be team that he played on, stage. that he um, my bad, the OKC team that he played on, um. That team wasn't that talented, and he pretty much did everything for that team. They had him and, like, Steve Adams and, like, nobody else. I can't even remember. They had Victor Oladipo a season, but... Yeah. but he, he I mean, with that being said, he was still scoring like that regardless on any team in the league. Yeah. Like, No, oh, yeah. He, yeah, he, he was still the MVP that year because he deserved to be the MVP because he was doing the most, facts. man. But right now, where he's at, he should be, like, hitting the threshold of his veteran stage where he knows, you know, all aspects. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, his jump shot should be wet by now. It should be water. It's his footwork focus. should he be unstoppable. Bro. His, He's too busy doing goofy be... shit off the court in his off season. He ain't focusing on basketball. And one thing I did like that he said, he said, my legacy isn't what happens on the court, it's what happens off the court. It's both, though, bro. Because you're not going to have, no one's going to care much about your legacy if you're not even playing good. If you end if up getting you're cut, not the, If, if you're not legacy? good at your profession, this is your profession, exactly. so how does it not you matter? Mix this the two. is what you do. Exactly. LJ said he's the first coach to hold Russell accountable for his mistakes. Can't blame him for that. Yeah, for real, because I don't know any other coach that did. Scott Brooks, no. Um, Where else did he go? Mike D'Antoni, hell no. So, D'Antoni. Someone said, uh, somebody, I've seen something mad racist against Mike D'Antoni. Someone commented, like, someone, like a known, ba- oh, Steven Jackson. Mm-hmm. Oh man, he's he a real one now. He is real, he's real but he's too. he's part of that woke movement that like Bro. he's being controlled. He was like, "We don't want this white boy as the next coach of the Hornets." Like, bro, why you have to Bro, say he, all that? 
Yo, do you actually think that these brothers actually feel that way? Or do you think they just do it for clout? I mean, I understand what he means, but he didn't have to say it all like that, bro. Because you, you don't want the youngins to be like, oh, this white boy, that. Bro. But that's what's what, happening. What happens to us? Then we become them. And that's it. But that's exactly what's happening, though. That's almost like the the goal. You know what I mean? To, to I don't know, man. I, I think it's mostly for clout, which I... I think makes it twice as bad because yeah. it's like, bro, you don't you don't even stand behind your words, and you exactly. are basically manipulating a younger generation that looks up to you into thinking this is the way to act, and you don't even believe that that I, that's just how I feel, bro. No, I, feel I think it's that. just for clout, for likes, you know. Oh, no, it's it's cool to call somebody racist. You're gonna get mad likes if you call somebody racist. <laughs> Yo, I know. Really, though? ATL, the show ATL, actually, I'm probably going to end up watching the new episodes on tonight and the Rock yes. show. There's a new episode. But they had this episode where, like, this girl said something to him, like, something that was not racist at all. And, oh, she thought he was checking her out. And he was like, uh, no, I wanted to get a shot of alcohol. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's just, I always, black guys are just always checking me out. Yeah, I guess you could say it's kind of racist, but he was like, it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? But another white person came up to them and was like, can you believe that? She really said that to you? Like, that's so racist. And, like, he started telling all the other white people about it, and he, like, made it a whole big deal. And And another black guy came up to the guy and was like, you know why they do that? Guilt. Yeah, it's the guilt from you know shit they've done in the past and this and that. Yeah, it's called virtue signaling. They're they're virtue signaling. Uh, they want to look like they're woke. Like I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna over exaggerate and I'm gonna make it seem like I'm completely on your side. Like yeah, totally. That's so. What you do in the so past wrong. to have to act like that? Not raise like I'm just saying a lot of like. <laughs> even if they didn't do nothing in the past to act like that, they just want to feel like they're. Woke, I guess. I awake. I hate. I hate anymore, saying bro. woke. I feel. Yeah, I know, bro. Dumb nah, woke used to be a cool word. word back in the day, but they done ruined it. I always it. felt like that. Yeah, like oh, you need like stay woke. Like, you 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 mean awake? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, real. sure. I don't know. I just always thought it was a little silly, but yeah. Dude, I think I most of it is for clout. For forty five minutes already. <laughs> Like even even the whole movement, the whole like SJW woke, like all that, it's it's finally a movement where, and I'm sorry, I don't I don't mean to offend nobody, you know what I mean, but where the losers kind of feel like they're a part of something bigger now, where the where the lower guy finally gets to take a shot at the alpha. You know what I mean? No, because I get it for sure. we get attacked for being masculine. We get attacked for having egos, for being charismatic, for having manners. Like, we get attacked for everything. And it's now an opportunity for them to take a shot at us. You know what I mean? So Yeah, for sure. So uh, they don't even believe half the things that they shout about. It's just like... Finally, I'm part. I'm cool now. Like, oh, that's how I feel. <laughs> With their thirty-second place ribbon. Yeah, brown nosing. That's really what it is. Brown nosing. Yeah, I was never like, that guy. All my teachers all always thought that I was the like, bro. Whenever like the class was all acting up, I always got in trouble for it because they're always like, Victor, it's you. You <laughs> did it. Like, bro, I'm not bro, controlling them. Mullins, I can't bro. control them. All Mullins. Even when our younger siblings finally got to the school, they were like, oh. You're you're Billy Mullen, a Victor's Mullen sibling. I'm watching you. <laughs> like they all like, bro, dead ass. My Mr. Bean Beamer, he's um like the civics teacher, I think it's called, where they like no law and yeah. law and citizen class. Yeah, civics. I took a se- yeah, I took him uh senior year and uh I think it was senior year. He was always on my ass. I had Rob in that class and I me and Rob got into an argument because Rob tried to say that Catholic wasn't Christian and like I'm like, bro, how are you Catholic and you don't know that Catholic is a form of Christianity? And he got so mad at me, he got he got up and walked out, and he's like, "See what you do?" And, ah. and I'm like, bro, like, why don't you correct them? Like, what do you mean? Like, you are your aren't you like a a, a smart adult? Like, right. tell him right, no. Exactly. Like, Rob, I know you're Catholic, but ah, uh, well. I don't want to make him feel dumb or anything and say anything, but he just didn't understand that it was just a version of 
Christian. I was only saying like, yeah, some like a Christian and a mean. Protestant could are, are believe in some different things. Like y'all got the Pope, but at the end of the day, it's a form You're of Christianity. All, all it means, yeah. like all Christianity means, is that you you follow the life of Christ. So, right, Jesus. I tried to explain it to him, but he didn't really. He didn't really get. Isn't it, it funny how they're all like really really quiet right now with like. Again, I really don't want to bring it up because it's so it's so controversial, you know, my body, my rules. But all the pastors and like reverends and oh, the churches, yeah, right. they're, they're very, very quiet right now. And they're, you, you're not supposed to believe in that. You would think more of them would be speaking up or From at what? least trying to talk about it. From what I heard, <laughs> this new pastor is like or uh, pope is like yeah. mad. Different. Yeah, how, how people think he's the antichrist? He's that religion. Different. Religion is something I, that's so hard to talk about, bro. Yeah. People get so like they think you get offended about politics, bro. People really get offended yeah, when you talk about religion. death threats and stuff over that. Yeah, for real. But see, bro, my whole message is, and that's this is the the mistake that people make about me. They think that because I have such a problem with the democratic party the liberal leftist you know they think i'm automatically like a far right like super maga yeah and it's like no it's like bro if if they were all politicians are crooked bro like most of them yeah for real but right now this administration this party that's in control bro they're all rats they're all corrupt crooked, they're all so yeah. that doesn't mean i'm a far right like you know, radical. It just means I disagree with them too. Like, I, yeah, people I automatically assume I'm one thing. Like, you don't have to pick a side. You could be independent. You could be in the middle about some things. And I think that people should be able to. That's the beauty of America. Well, it's supposed you know I mean? to be the the beauty of America, but they're but, starting to limit people now from even that. Right, but we should be able to speak about it as. As far as we have come, it is the year 2022. By now, we should mostly... be able to talk it out, bro. We should be right. able to talk out our problems, but it seems like, no, they're right. creating more of a problem and right. making it a problem to talk about your problems. Right. right. As an <laughs> as adults, are we problem. not problem. moral and problem. dignified <laughs> people for the most part? Yeah. So why can't it just be a discussion? And even at the end of the discussion, if we disagree, I'm not going to be like, well, you're a terrorist yeah it was, like with the you, racist stuff. it was like with the race stuff where it's like yeah. yo like you i still have to sit some white people down like bro racism still exists just so you know because some of them are yeah. like bro race doesn't even happen yes. no more and i'm like yeah, some of them just straight up i'm like straight bro, up to deny it's it. probably not as bad as like people aren't out here killing like but i mean it is happening but at the same time like it's not yeah. cured. It's not gone. Like yeah, it never they, will be. Bro. They are gassing it in certain situations and trying to you, entice. I you're think, always black you're always gonna have to do something. Yeah, my bad, my bad. You're you're always gonna have dumb, ignorant people, bro. And the best way to deal with people like that is to just not give them the the spotlight. Yeah. Like you, you, you got people sitting over here overreacting and and having brain aneurysms. You know what I mean? And it's like, bro, just ignore them and laugh at them. Yeah, and I guarantee I now, you, they'll bro. stop. Like, I've really, honestly, like my uh, the podcast has definitely been getting thrown out of the algorithm. I think because of some of the topics we have. I'm not saying like sometimes I'm not bored, I'm boring or something, but I'm not saying like there ain't some episodes that people just can't be interested I, in. I get that. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm having a talk with somebody they don't like i don't know but either yeah. way like sometimes i'm like bro that makes no sense how did i go from like that to like that and it's like i'm being capped yeah. but we'll sometimes, see sometimes bro sometimes it could just be a word that you use and just like that bro oh yo i heard i peeped this there's a whole book that you can like buy that it'll teach you keywords that makes your um yeah That'll make your podcast pop. Like if yep. you say certain words like third eye, I don't know, a third eye, but you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. weird keywords that like somehow hits the algorithm and makes it go. Like I'll you can like, find what? it right on Google. Yeah. You, you, 
um, there's some words that they even tell you right now that if you use these specific words on Facebook, they're going to drop you in the algorithm, bro. Like you can look up the list of words, you know what I mean? And I know like I my account's it. restricted right now, bro. Uh, for like so many different things it's not even funny just for joking around or just having even the people i'm having a discussion with like are not offended so how is facebook offended i don't here know it's right just... here bro i'm gonna read this and we're gonna peace out because it's like an hour i think we're going up on an hour but I'm gonna yeah read i want to hear it yeah it says the get started with podcast visibility optimization so it says you can get started for free but let's see if they oh have. this is the book it says grow your audience with podcast visibility optimization podcast visibility optimization pvo is the it's not a book it's like some uh i don't even know how to explain it i'll have to click it and check it out though is the process of improving the visibility of the given podcast on a listening platform such as apple Podcasts or spotify well this ain't facebook i guess pvo is essential to a virtuous cycle of growth also referred to as a flywheel with podcast visibility optimization your show will be more visible more users will discover it and start listening some listeners will become followers and leave reviews and this then will help your podcast become more visible so apparently these certain words or something help you grow your podcast but yo i was trying to tell you about this new um site that um is like youtube but you can't be um you can't be like shut down on it how do i say you ain't gonna be limited and you ain't gonna be your freedom of speech is gonna be like it, yeah you're gonna be able to censored. say whatever you want yeah you're not gonna be censored yeah it's I'm called on rumble. odyssey yeah yeah you told me about odyssey and i told you about rumble there's rumble's pretty much like that where and they want you to make money they they want you to be able to say whatever you want to say. Every yeah. site is going to have a line you can't cross. So yeah. I don't know why people get their panties in a bunch. Like, oh, my God, they're radicals. And they, uh, like, they just, no, bro. Like, you can't just come up on any of these sites and just say whatever you want. It ain't like that. There's always a line that could be crossed. Oh, but no, yeah. you won't be censored. The way YouTube, bro, YouTube is crazy, like crazy. So many of my favorite channels have just been wiped off of YouTube completely. Yeah, there's a um for example, the Teenager Therapy podcast does an excellent job of speaking to their community of the all oh, this something else. But yeah, um damn, I just lost what I was going to say when reading that. What would you what you say last? Uh just about how like the algorithms, like the 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 rules and the community guidelines yeah. you know like being censored basically how on these these mainstream platforms people are censored or you just say yeah i mean all i know is that i'm gonna speak my mind about it but sometimes people aren't comfortable with doing yeah. that because they don't want to be a part of that you know what i mean and I, I don't blame them because some people think that you shouldn't talk about it some people think that you should there's no right there's no right right or wrong answer. You know what I mean? As long as you ain't supporting the wrong side. But sometimes not speaking out about something is supporting the wrong side because it's like a racist person. It's like, oh, he's racist and you're watching him be racist to other people and you're not racist, but you're not telling him to stop. You're not yeah. saying, yo, that's wrong, bro. But I digress, my brother. I digress. But yeah, right. thank you for coming on. You know, of I course. think I'm gonna get pun either tomorrow or the next day, but who knows, you know, but I have next week, it's going to be, I think I mentioned it, it's going to be Frequency, Danny Mercado, I got on Monday. Oh, facts. And then I That's got on facts. Wednesday, Tommy, from Tommy Hazleton, you know, uh, the best probably tattoo artist that ever walked in Scranton. Shout yeah, out to him. Nice. And nice then um, Friday, I got Capo, which is, you know, what I was just talking about him earlier. That's a good lineup. Yeah, bro. I actually just got all of his music. If y'all don't know, it's Javier, you know, Davier, Javier, the twins. But Javier, he raps. I don't know. I don't think Dav raps. But I don't know. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah. Capo is dropping a lot of music, and he's about to drop some more. 
Shout out to Calf. I'm going to get him on soon, too. And I'm pretty sure there's a few other people. Um, CG Mills, I want to definitely get on, too. Um, of, what is it? 1,500. So uh, I want to get their whole thing. But I don't want to do them all so close together. Because, you know, it'll, like, the spreading it out will get them more people. You know what I'm saying? Because then I'm talking about them one week and then the next week someone else. And then, you know what I'm saying? If you yes, do them all in one week, then people aren't going to. It's just going to be the same people those days. And then blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> but, yeah, bro, I appreciate you for coming out. We'll go play some Xbox and relax for a little bit, bro. Yeah, bags. I got a meh daddy duty. You yeah. already know. I hear my kids just went to bed, but I'm going to go give them a kiss and stuff. All right, bro. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, facts. Love you too, Appreciate bro. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of 570 Live, episode 15. See you guys on Monday, but maybe over the weekend. We'll see how it goes. Peace.